Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Today, yet it is more Sports 7 news. Um, obviously a couple of things happening overnight, which I'm about to bring an update on. Um, well, what can we say that's happened over the past 24 hours? A bit of a few England players missing that people think deserve to be in the 27 man squad obviously not to be but unfortunately we have to go on and support the team as Gareth Southgate wants to call it but anyway on today's news um, Manchester City is key to keep on Griezmann's transfer to Barcelona and um, now does this mean that Manchester City wants to put a bid in themselves and Manchester City either state they are happy to pay the 108 million get out cards for Griezmann um, I still work at least heading over here um, this obviously puts another spanner on the works because I have done a video on this but they cover Manchester City as such um, but I reckon Griezmann is leaving Spain that's my opinion anyway uh, that definitely will be a um, one to keep a look out for uh, the second bit of news is that Monreal does not want to return back to Chelsea. Um, Monreal had a long spell with Chelsea this season, I believe, um, and he does not want to return. Um, he's not happy about it, but he does not want to return. He's made that clear and simple. Um, you know, the likes of Chelsea, if you don't cut it out, if you don't have the game, you won't survive. Um, I think Monreal uh, is another player that is, um, how do you put it, not cut out for the Premier League. Uh, can't quite get up to the standards of the Premier League. So uh, I'll be very surprised if he returns um, within this window to the Premier League at least. Uh, the next bit of news is that Juventus and uh, Inter Milan is interested in Alexis Sanchez. Uh, Manchester United players got to take a pay cut, 25% I believe. Uh, a lot of the top players ain't happy about the pay cut. It's all to do with failing to qualify for the Champions League. Uh, so they're taking quite a big pay cut for not qualifying for the Champions League. Uh, but yeah, Juventus and Inter Milan are paying interest on uh, Alessio Sanchez, as I've just said. I'll be very surprised if he does not back and back up back at Arsenal. I will believe I'll be covering the story again for a different club, uh, more in the window um, sort of end. Um, you know, I believe that. Um, Sanchez was just about right for Arsenal uh, but obviously can't gap the expectations anywhere else which is not, I'm not blaming it on Sanchez himself uh, you know if a certain team does not cut the way that you want it to then you won't actually feel you won't actually get into the team like you won't be able to play your own style of football in that team so you know that really does look like um, a big and I reckon he will leave United this summer as well uh, the next bit and it's down the division and that is Tony Pulis has left Middlesbrough Tony Pulis left Middlesbrough after um, after failing to qualify for the playoffs for the championship um, I had their chances to but it didn't quite work out that way so you know it's going to be one of them things I think where there's a lot of um, teams looking for managers especially around about now uh, Brighton's one of them um, and there's a few others as well so I reckon it'll be back in management before long um, but also I'm on this tiny period, put it down in the comments below, was West Brom wanting to get rid of him? 
the fifth bit of news is uh, surprise probably some Liverpool fans um, and a surprise to me writing this down believe it or not uh, Real Madrid is interested in Mil Salah um, now I ain't gonna um, you know saying Real Madrid ain't good enough they are um, could this possibly be a replacement for Ronaldo being sold uh, in the last window um, you know I think he will have a lot of uh, expectation but whether he's going to leave Liverpool or not that's going to be a whole different story so if he does obviously you know anyway because I do a new thing about it every day so you know this will definitely be another one to keep an eye out for um, within the near future uh, Man United are interested in the Newcastle young player Sean Cronstaff if I mispronounce your name I do apologise um, you know uh, they look like going back young there's a lot of rumours to say they're going back young this I think won't go through but it's a good story to have none of the wiser um, but as I said just again it would be interesting to see what happens uh, with this story the other bit of news is or the next bit of news I should say Man United just again Man United are in this uh, report um, that they were interested in Barcelona Jeff Stillestin sorry for mispronounced name again I most probably have uh, from Barcelona uh, you know the Haya desperately wants to leave United I'm just waiting for a matter of days before Real Madrid puts a bid in and he's off. Uh, yet again it all comes into reports that Manchester United players have got to take a pay cut. Uh, so I think this one will be... Uh, I'm not 100% whether it will be this keeper but I'm definitely sure that there will be a new keeper in the Man United net come next season. The next bit of news is that Liverpool and Spurs are interested in Giuliano Bradda. Brad did. Sorry if I mispronounced last time, I might probably have. Um, plays on the left. Um, so, yet again, Midiala Salah moves. Um, this could possibly be a potential uh, sign in for Liverpool. Um, you know, it's all to do with um, basically it all goes where Liverpool players if they do leave. Um, Spurs, I'd be more expected for them to get this player considering they ain't signed the player in two years. I think they definitely need to strengthen now um, if they want to push forward. Um, but yet again, another story you have to keep an eye on. And, uh, you know, I think it would be another interesting one if this player does move. The last bit of news for today is, and that is in Arsenal, are in talks with Henry Mkhitaryan about the Europa League final. Um, now, let's just, um, what game do I go to? I think I'll go Arsenal-Brighton um, with this particular story. Mkhitaryan didn't really turn up for Arsenal on that day um, so they're talking to him about missing the final um, you know will, will, will he be 100% fit will he not this could be another obviously still going up to you, you uh, Europa League final um, so you know keep an eye out for this one as well um, but yet again Big stories breaking today. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.